Welcome back to visualization. Now, guys, we'll be focusing on scatter plot. So, till now, we have seen a simple line plot, histogram, bar plot, and pie chart. Now, it's time to see scatter plot. So, scatter plot is basically, guys, is used to uh, you know plot two different variables together. All right, and it is very useful in understanding the relationship between two variables, whether they ha they are correlated or they are not correlated. So either they they have positive correlation that means they grow together if one variable increase the other one also increases or not or they have negative uh, correlation that is if one variable increase the other one is decreasing like, like that all right so instead of the, the talking let's see the practical and it will be very easy for you to understand so for now guys uh, we are using the same data frame that is a car's data frame and in that data frame let's say I'm going to call the correlation function. So what correlation function does guys basically it shows a, a table all right it shows a complete table where it shows the correlation values between uh, two columns all right so if you if you hold on to symboling symboling and its correlation with symboling will obviously will be one its correlation with width its correlation with height and all these correlation values are there so what correlation guys basically it's talking about the pearson's correlation coefficient See guys, uh, if you um, if you haven't heard these term, I'll recommend that please go back and uh, you know work on your descriptive statistics concepts. Then you can come back and watch these videos. Now let's say uh, my target is price, and I want to predict the price. All right. Uh, basically, I want to know. Uh, uh, I want to predict the price on the basis of these features. That means if I have the width. I should be able to predict the price of the car. If I know the engine size of the car, I should be able to predict the price of the car, right? But uh, prediction, uh, if you want to do the prediction, you must know the correlation value, right? The correlation coefficient value. So if you go ahead and check over here, the correlation value of price with symboling is very bad. It's minus 0, 0.0, like it's not good. With width, it's good. It's 0 0.71. With height, it is not good. It's 0 0.13. With engine size, it is very good. It's like 0 0.85, very close to 1. And with city mileage and highway mileage, you can see there is a negative correlation. That means if the city mileage or highway mileage increases, the price decreases. Right? And over here, for the engine size, if the, if the engine size increases, the price also increases. So there's a positive correlation over here. So guys, instead of uh, you know looking into the table, it will be great if I can plot these variables and check out their correlation. So for that purpose, we'll be using the scatter plot. All right. So how we uh, how how the scatter plot works is so we're gonna create a figure. If, uh, if you want, you can give the figure size. Next is plt dot calling the scatter function where we need to pass the x and the y axis value, right? So similarly, just like plt.plot where you pass x and y, similarly plt.scatter and you pass x and y. So on the x-axis, uh, let's say I want the width. I want to check the correlation with the width. Comma, pf, price. Then let's call plt.show function. There you go, guys. So you can see on the x-axis we have width, on the y-axis we have price. That means as the width increases the price also increases that's what the scatter plot shows right so guys each point over here in the scatter plot is nothing but uh, the uh, price of the car with respect to its uh, width value right so let's say uh, just consider a random point like this let's say if this is uh, somewhere around 61 point something so if the width of the car is somewhere around 61 point something the price of the car is over here right so all the variables that we have are plotted over here. Now, if you remember the correlation value is 0 0.71. So that is a very good correlation value. And that is why you can see a upward growing graph, right? Same goes for engine size, right? Let's do it for engine size. And you will see engine size uh, with a much beautiful graph because the correlation value is much higher for engine size. Yes, you can see it is much, you know, much uh, more uh, better than the previous one. It clearly shows a growth where if the engine size increase, the price also increase. All right. 
Now let's check out for some of the variables where the correlation is not good at all. So con considering uh, any one of them. So let's consider uh, height. All right. So guys, you can see that height has a very bad correlation. It's like 0 0.13, very close to zero. So let's see how uh, how the plot looks like. Uh, dot figure, PLD dot scatter, and here let me add height. Okay, you see, guys, it is completely you know scattered uh, here and there. So that's not good. No good correlation, right? All right. So let me explain uh, all the three plots once again. So here you can see, uh, for minimum uh, width, there's minimum price, and for maximum width, there's maximum price. Same with this, with the engine size as well. But when it comes to uh, height, you can see uh, for a minimum height, there is both a minimum price as well as maximum price. Here also for a maximum height, there is both minimum price as well as maximum price. So there is no good correlation. Okay, now let's guys check it for the negative correlations. So where you can see that for city mileage and highway mileage, we have negative correlations, right? So let's check it out for one of them. Uh, let's put city mileage over here. So city hyphen MPG, and you can see a downward graph, right? So there you can see uh, if the city mileage is low, the price is very high, and if the city mileage is high, the price is very low, right? If the city mileage is high, the price is very low. So that's why we have a negative correlation. All right, guys. So something uh, I want to show you here is what what variant you can do is. If you wish, you can pass a different color. Let's say if I pass the color red, so you'll see all the dots in the red color. But guys, that is something optional, and just for the you know, just for an example, I've shown you. But I hope, uh, guys, it is clear what is a scatter plot. Okay, and it is very useful to understand the correlation between two variables. Okay, if you have any doubt, please go back and watch this video again. So, guys, we are done with the first part of visualization. Uh, now, stay tuned. We'll see the second part of visualization where. Uh, instead of using the matplotlib library, we're going to use a different library that is a Seaborn library. All right. So here we have used the matplotlib library. In the other part, we're going to use the Seaborn library, uh, which is like much, which has more beautiful plots than matplotlib. But why we have learned matplotlib? Because guys, this is the base for your visualization, right? This is the base. And from this base, you can take any other better libraries. All right. Stay tuned for the next part.